then we are going to see the next type or the next category of this that is based upon the end connection the way the nozzle is getting connected with the other uh, other components or let's say other piping components or uh, this thing so there could be, there are there are based upon the connections the configurations like flange connections then there are threaded connections and the last in this type is the welded connection so when to go for flange connection threaded connection welded connection what is it important let's see one by one so based upon the uh, end connection the first one is the flange connection or the flange nozzle flange nozzles are most common having flange joints to connect with the other piping or the instrument uh, because most of the time piping will be having the flanges and we are providing the mating flanges on the nozzles and with the help of the stud and nut we can easily uh, easily attach these uh, piping uh, with the nozzles with the help of the gasket in between so this is a very commonly used and um, uh, uniformly used type of uh, end connection just by untying or just by loosening uh, of these nuts we can separate the components uh, for maintenance and again whenever it is required so we can have the flanges are available in all, all sort of rating from 75 till 2500 so it can be able to sustain very high pressure so flange uh, connections are reliable connections and these are most commonly used in oil and gas industry then you can see over here these are nothing but the various flange connections which are used in the pressure so these all are the flange nozzles which are getting connected either with the instrument or with the process nozzle then based upon again the end connection the next type is the threaded nozzle so threaded nozzles are mostly used in water applications or we can say low pressure application so you can see these type of now these are the uh, thread outlets what we can say so these are the self reinforced sockets having the thread so these are called as a thread outlets which will be used as a nozzle and these will be getting attached to your vessel you can see here the shape this is nothing but the radius of the profile on which or the radius of the shell on which it is going to get fit upon so mostly these are the thread outlets which are used in the piping then these are the uh, you can see this is a nipple or this is a nozzle which will be having a threaded connection so in case of our vessel we will be having some barrel nipple or some socket or this type of end connection also where from the other let's say hose piping is there so that hose piping will be getting attached so mostly in etp water industry waste water industry such a, a such type of um, nozzles will be most commonly used here also we can see there is a barrel nipple uh then the hex, uh, then the hex nipple then welded pipe half nipple these type of threaded connections are nothing but the threaded nozzles which are most commonly used in water industry or low pressure application then the third are the welded nozzles now as we can see uh, once we weld that nozzle let's say nozzle with the attached piping or some other instrument then it will be almost impossible to uh, disconnect it without any cutting or without any application of the heat so this is a, this is not very commonly used type of the welded nozzle these are only the last options where uh, the leakage is at all not possible so whenever there is a very high pressure or we can say lethal applications refrigeration uh, plants are there where they will be using ammonia as a refrigerant they don't want that ammonia to come out because it's a lethal a uh, gas because of that the people may uh, die also so because of these reasons whenever such a criticality is there then only these welded nozzles are been followed so mostly in refrigeration industry or the industry where the lethal gases or the uh, lethal process fluids have been handled so uh, to have the flange there are chances of leakage to have the thread connection there are also chances of leakages to avoid that all things and all that may uh, these welded nozzles are preferred in the industries where also one of the better advantage as compared to the flange or the threaded connection is it is having the better cyclic uh, life or we can say the number of fatigue cycles will be more as we are having the butt weld over here so there are no chances of leakage and we will be having a very strong joint and also the radiography also can be possible for that joint so uh, there are less chances of leakages so in such a industry you can see over here the nozzle is directly attached through welding to the connected piping <clears throat> so there is no flange or the threaded connection over here so whenever you can see over here that there is a insulation so whenever there is a refrigeration industry here also you can see it's a refrigeration industry equipment where you can see all these nozzles 
are the welded nozzles. There is no threaded or the uh, flange joint have been there in all these nozzles. Here you can see another instrument or another equipment from the refrigeration industry. Here also the nozzle is directly welded to the rest of the piping. So like this, these are the instruments and the piping which are followed mostly where the lethal services are there, where high pressure is there, where you will be having uh, such a media or the process where you don't want any sort of leakage. Because of this any sort of leakage, there could be very dangerous consequences of this. So these are the reasons why we are going for this welded type of the construction. Then the next uh, type of uh, configuration or we can say now based upon its construction, the next category is one is the built up construction and another is the integral construction. The way the nozzle will be manufactured or uh, prepared accordingly, it will be get uh, modified or we can say it, it will be get divided into categories. One is the built up construction, another is the integral construction built up construction what do you mean by built up construction it is very economical construction most commonly used in all across the uh, industries so built up construction means what we'll be having each and every component of the nozzle as a separate component like here we can see this green color is nothing but the shell to which we are getting connected this nozzle so what we are doing we'll be having you can see over here there is a weld joint over here so we'll be having this separate pipe separate plans and if it is required to provide the reinforcement then we'll be having the separate reinforcing pad so it will be made up of this separate reinforcing pad separate pipe as well as the separate flange joint based upon the requirement the flanges can be slip on flanges uh, then lo uh, loose ring type of flanges or it can be a weld neck flanges like this so this is uh, this will give us a very high flexibility to the manufacturer uh, to make these type of nozzles and these are very very cost effective as compared to the integral nozzles. So most commonly these type of nozzles are used in the industry unless and until there is a very specific requirement we are not going for the integral nozzle. Now the integral nozzles as the name goes it is integral means what all these components whatever we have discussed those are made up of the one single forging. So we can see over here this total flange its neck then the reinforcing component whatever rf pad was there that has been eliminated and that reinforcement also have been incorporated in this heavier thickness of this nozzle that is called as a sr or we can say self reinforced nozzle and in addition to that there is a butt joint between your shell and the nozzle in case of your integral joints you can have it welded over here like with the help of the fillet joint or you can have a leap like this so whenever we are having the leap it means that we want to do the radiography of this joint and to make sure that there won't be any leakages or there won't be any leak paths available which are unchecked so generally these are used in the very high pressure applications cyclic service applications lethal uh, if there are some lethal fluids in that case we want to have the full radiography for that reason uh, we will be having these kind of bird joints done and then we can do the or perform the radiography and we'll make sure that this joint will be very very stronger in all the aspects as it is a single forge so it will be separately forged by the uh, forging people and that's why its cost and its lead time is way ahead or we can say much much more as compared to your built-up construction in built up construction you will be using standard pipes standard flange, uh, flanges which are readily available in classes pipes are available in schedule but in this case for your particular equipment you are designing this self reinforced type of uh, forging or the nozzle and only those nozzles will be fabricated just for you or manufactured just for you so its cost and the uh, its cost and lead time will be very very high so unless and until it is a uh, requirement of very very high pressure cyclic service or lethal service people are not going for this type of construction so hence based upon the way the uh, the nozzle is been fabricated or manufactured it it has been uh, divided in two categories one is the built up construction and another is the integral construction then based upon the fitment the way the nozzle is getting, uh, getting connected with the vessel according to that also there are two categories one is the set in construction and another is is called as a set on construction so what is the difference between set in and set on construction let's have a look 
so let's say based upon the fitment the set in construction the first one so where the nozzle is inserted inside the vessel through or at the id of your vessel usually if very high pressure is there lethal or cyclic service is there then this nozzle will have an advantage as compared to your set on construction so you can see over here this is a typical built up construction of the nozzle but it is set in or we can say set through it can be throughout let's say some inserted nozzles are there which are are uh, there to carry the fluid till the very end of your uh, vessel so this nozzle neck will further continue and it will be just the extension of this nozzle only till the very end till the location what we want otherwise it will be flush with the shell id so it is not rested on the od of your shell or outside surface of the shell it will be inserted till the id of your shell so that's why it is called as a set in construction so these are most commonly used type of the construction not from the manufacturer's point of view but always the customer want all the nozzles to have this type of construction so imagine if there is a very high pressure you can get thickness for the nozzle as very low so let's say the nozzle thickness is only 8 mm or 10 mm and the shell thickness is let's say 40 mm so imagine now the, uh, the for this groove weld you have to have the groove prepared for this entire uh, entire depth of the shell of 40 mm and that needs to be filled with the help of welding so that's why this is not very popular from manufacturer's point of view but it will give a very good support at the junction to the uh, nozzle so that's why it is very useful as far as the uh, customer is concerned so that's why most of the customers are recommending to recommending to have this inserted or we can say set in type of the construction whereas the manufacturer will always want to have the set on construction because you can see over here set on construction so the hole will be equal to the id of your nozzle unlike the previous one where we will be having it is inserted through so the hole has to be equal to the od of your nozzle here it is equal to the id the nozzle will be placed on top of your shell and there will be a welding or a groove will be prepared across only the nozzle thickness so if there is a very high pressure application then uh, the beveling in nozzle will not be that critical as compared to that of the shell so that's why uh these are been preferred by the manufacturer so these are usually uh, used all across the industries based upon your application you can always uh, use that but if your customer recommended uh, then that set in construction will have more advantages as compared to this set on construction so based upon these constructions these nozzles are also get divided in two which is the set in and one is called as a set on set in is also called as set through also if it is getting continue beyond that id then it will be a set through type of the construction so apart from this construction there are two more there there will be if we are going to make more uh, categories then the one uh, as far as the design is concerned is called as a radial nozzle and the another is called as a offset nozzle when we are saying a radial nozzle means the axis of that nozzle will be going till the center of your vessel will be going till the center line of your vessel or the center line axis of your vessel but in case of your offset nozzle let's imagine one tangential nozzle so in case of tangential nozzle that axis will never match or uh, connected with your axis of the vessel so that are also called as a one more category what we can see though it is not mentioned over here but most commonly you will be he uh, hearing that radial nozzles or offset nozzles offset nozzles are also called as hill side nozzles so this is one more criteria or one more a category through which we can uh, have differentiation between the type or the categories of this nozzle 